So I'd like to tell a very specific story in this little video, and that is a story of the reflected head of rectus femoris. What's rectus femoris? Well, you probably heard of your quads, right? The quadriceps femoris, the, the big, huge, four-headed muscle of your thigh, the thigh. So rectus femoris is one of those four heads or units. It's the one that's straight, rect, like correct, means straight or right. So the straight, the straight muscle of the four-headed muscle is called the rectus femoris. So rectus femoris, people tend to learn origins and insertions, right? And maybe on your flashcard or on your test, you were told the answer is correct if you said that the insertion of the rectus femoris is into the main tendon of the quad, right? The, the quadriceps tendon that, that reaches over and includes the kneecap and connects to the big bump at the top of your shin bone, the tibia the tibial tuberosity. So that's the, uh, that's the uh, insertion. What's the origin? The origin in that story would be right here at the anterior, right, because it's in front, inferior, because it's lower than this one, iliac, because it's part of the ilium, spine. So the anterior, inferior, iliac, spine. So from the anterior, ilia, anterior inferior, iliac, spine, all the way down to the tibial tuberosity. So rectus femoris seems simple enough, right? What most folks don't either learn or remember is that the rectus femoris actually has another head. It's called the reflected head. And so, yeah, sure, we go on up to the anterior inferior iliac spine, and then it throws off a very dense, very thick, very fibrous, tendinous matter that reaches here to the labrum or the lip, right, of this acetabulum, the vinegar cup that holds the head of the femur here. So right here on the pelvis, we have the labrum of the uh, acetabulum, and then the reflected head bends back. That's what reflection means. Flect means bend, the fleck part. Flex means bend, and re means backwards, right? So bend backward, like a back bend. So reflect is a back bend. So the tendon actually does a back bend to the labrum of your hip. Now, who would have thought that you have a muscle tissue, right, reaching across your knee, that when you flex your quads, you could actually feel a tension over your hip joint. You can feel it. Stick your thumb in there. It's very palpable. I bother to tell you about this, A, because so many therapists don't really have it in their consciousness. I didn't have it in mind. I dissected 100 cadavers before I found the reflected head. I had been inadvertently cutting it off because I just knew the anterior superior iliac spine was the origin of rectus femoris. So I cut it off and I cut it off and I cut it off 99 times. No, 100 times. On that 100th time, I dissected further and found this large chunk of tendon sticking out of the hip. I was like, where'd that come from? And I looked it up in a book. I don't use books as often as I should. <laughs> Maybe I would have got it the first time. But once I learned it, I've never forgotten it because it was so shocking that I could have missed something after 100 dissections. And perhaps as a therapist, you've missed it a hundred times as well. So I've actually cut out a little, a little model of the rectus femoris with its reflected head right here. Isn't that pretty? It's just a piece of cloth, but it serves to remind us about this tissue. So here we have the part that goes over, over the knee joint here, right down to, the, down to the tibial tuberosity. And then we come up here to the pelvis and look, here's the little piece that goes to the anterior inferior iliac spine, and here is how the reflected head wraps around from there. Now, I have another pelvis here that might make it easier to see. Here, let's do it up close. Here's the anterior inferior iliac spine, and the rectus femoris indeed huh, originates there with its fibrous, fibrous tendon, and then here the reflected head runs in this channel along the labrum of the acetabulum and connects kind of like that. 
So it arises, these tissues arise from the bone. It's muscle tissue transitioning to tendon to bone. And it, it happens like that. So the next time you're, you're playing with your pelvis, uh, see if you can feel the reflected head. As you contract your quadriceps femoris, you'll feel the rectus femoris contract. And you can have your finger right here, put a thumb in there, and you will feel the reflected head. Cool, huh? So it's just a little tip. It's always my hope to improve the, um, the specificity with which folks do their uh, body work. Because, uh, well, the, I feel like the more specific you are and the, 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 the more intimately you can connect with what's actually there, as opposed to the story in your head, the more service you'll be able to do for your clients. So the reflected head of rectus femoris muscle. <laughs> I appreciate your watching. Thanks for studying with me. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy. Anterior superior iliac spine. Whoop, dropped an arm. Whoop, lost a skeleton. <laughs>